leaders to the ring, please. First of all, Jacques Lajac. Here is this page one. We have seen once on television before, wearing his bandana and his furious gear. I think there must be some Algerian blood in there somewhere. Jacques Lejac of Paris at 11 stone 7. And the leading contender for Danny Collins' uh, welterweight title of Europe. And for Great Britain, Danny Boy Collins. <laughs> Here's the boy that's uh, one of the most popular wrestlers in the business. A young 18-year-old. He started at only 16 and a half years old in the pro wrestling ring. Welterweight champion of Great Britain and, of course, won the welterweight uh, European title of Jim Brace at the Royal Albert Hall in March 84. Defended it three times. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This contest is for the European Welterweight Championship and Belt to be wrestled over 12 three-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout will decide the winner. Introducing, on my left, the challenger from France, Jacques Lejac. <laughs> Defending his title, the European Welterweight Champion, from the West Country, from Bristol, Danny Boy Collins. And our referee, Mr. Peter Zaka. Peter Zaka the referee, drawing them towards the center of the ring for the usual pep talk. Danny, that's taking off his belt there. Ready to hand it over to the MC until after this bout, where either it's put back on him on behalf or of the not. Referee, the championship contest and the referee's job is to see the best man wins. It's going to be two public warnings. The third one, in your case, Danny, if you got disqualified, the belt would go to your challenger. In the event of a draw, the champion keeps the belt. Shake hands, back to your corner, and may the best man win. Thank you. So 12 three-minute rounds will decide whether Danny Collins of Bristol will retain this belt or not. He's held it for quite a few, a year or two now, so he'd love to retain it a little longer. There he is, Danny Boy Collins. Can he do it once more? Six away, round one. <clears throat> if Danny Collins can win this bout and retain his belt, I have it on good authority that very shortly on television, ITV, of course, we'll be seeing the world welterweight title because Danny will be taking on the Mexican, the present champion of the world. But he's got to win here this afternoon first. Danny Collins versus Jacques Lejac, the challenger. We don't know too much about Lejac. He doesn't speak a word of English. He has been over here uh, once before, a few weeks back. We probably saw him on television. He's been a pro since uh, 1976. And we first saw him on television at the end of last year. But he's a leading contender for the European World Cup title. And that is the point. That's why he's over here to take it from Danny, if he can. So three more farms. And Peter Zakash. Former welterweight champion of Hungary, the Hungarian um, from Budapest, now naturalized British. The perfect man to look after this contest between a Frenchman and an Englishman. I don't think Peter Zakesh talks any French either, so I'm, I'm not sure what uh, Le Jacques's point is in going over there to argue with him. <laughs> Paul Nelson now, Collins. Just a minute left in his first round of 12. 
That cost two folds. Two submissions or a knockout to decide the winner. And it's a full Nelson to the shot. Had more follow up. Beautifully done, and he's trying to cross press follow up. Gets a two, but that's all. <laughs> and the full Nelson again with about eight seconds. Too late to make anything of it this round. Let's have a close-up look at the British champion, welterweight, and European champion, of course. Danny Boy Collins, born February 21, 1967, which makes him about 18, I think, now. 11 stone four at his weight, so he's got three pounds to give away to the Jack. Sink us away, round three. Round three. Ten to go. No score. Go! European welterweight title and belt held by Danny Collins. In his usual yellow trunks and boots. And the leading challenger from France, Jacques Lejac of Paris. Who's coming out at the start of round three, really on the attack here. Danny has his own way of stopping that onslaught. Oh. And a nice uppercut. It's the second time he's delivered one of those. Now, you know, he's got to wait now. He's got to wait now. Oh, he'll get to public warning if he'll understand it when he gets it. Straight fingers, both really go. But not when his man is on the deck, or either knees or hands on the deck. <laughs> he did really ask for that. He telegraphed that all over the place. Wrote Danny a letter there. Turn Danny over the top of the cross. Oh. That looked like uh, the first fall of to Collins there. Crossed hand scissors. He's off the couch again. We might weaken Danny quite a bit here. Less than a minute to go, and the Frenchman really coming in now. Trying to weaken Collins just a little bit, prevent some of that speed coming at him. You better not land one of those. <laughs> Peter Zakesh reminding him, I think, gently. And over the top of a jump step over leg lock. Now with the toe hold on, toe and ankle to Collins. 15 seconds. I have to think of something to make Daly Leaf go of that. Anyway, he hasn't got time, the bell will save it. training and bodybuilding are the most uh, important methods of training. He wants to make the middleweight bracket eventually. Well, he's well in the welters at the moment, but he could. Took up judo for a time. Sinkers away, round four. Round four, nine rounds to go, and no score. 
Collins of Great Britain. The champion versus Gilles Jacques, France, the challenger. And the shark with a hair in the gear. Nice drop here, picking off the ropes perfectly. One, two, three. The team, but a public warning for doing it a second time. Tackle caught beautifully by the Frenchman. <laughs> and trying to post cross press again. And Jake wearing the leg to make sure he can't turn out of it. And there it is. Just an, over a minute into round four. Collins, the first fall. First fall of the contest goes to the blue corner, Danny Collins. Six away, round six. Round six, seven to go, and Collins, the British title holder, leading the Frenchman one fall to nil at the start of round six. Just that same toe hole that he tries on Danny's right foot. He seems to be going for it all the time now. He seems to look upon it as his only hope of getting an equalizer. Yes, there he goes again. Right leg all the time. And he's trying a single leg buster now. Yes, it is. This could get a submission from this. It's very nearly there. Collins in trouble. He's balancing him perfectly correctly. The left knee stroke in the back. Still Collins didn't give. treatment to the right leg. And again, a single leg Boston attempt here by the Frenchman. He puts the left knee in the stroke. He's given. He's given. Submitted. One minute, 11 seconds into round six. Danny gives. So the Frenchman equalizes with a submission. And round six, the equalizing submission goes to France, Jack LeJack. Not getting too many cheers. Actually, Danny is his opponent is a great favorite over here. But uh, at least he's back in the bout, but uh, with the contest halfway through it. Well. Seconds away, round seven. Round seven, six to go. And Danny trying to keep that right leg away from the Frenchman now. Controlling slam, followed down quick for his pass. No, not quick enough. A little slow there, and still the Frenchman's after Danny's right foot. Face bar first against the corner post. Believe it or not, he's worrying Danny a bit now with his uh, right leg treatment. the toe hole on still from that uh, step over. Bringing down his own leg on 
the sole leg. He's tried it several times. And it seems to work fairly well in his favor. Uh -uh, typical Danny move. Makes the spine drop nicely. Knee drop. Quickly executed by Collins. But still the Frenchman persists with that attack to the Collins right leg. Just one minute to go in the seventh. Using the ropes, the referee soon put a stop to that. All right, no 25 please. seconds. Okay, then you. Okay. Now, the throat this time for Danny. Just eight seconds now. Too near the ropes. And the bell intervened anyway. Just go back to your corner, says the referee. Peter Sakash, he doesn't want to. He's complaining to the MC now. I don't think he speaks French either. So there they are, the two contestants for this belt. Seconds away, round eight. Round eight, five rounds to go. And one fall each now, with one public warning against the Frenchman, Le Jacques. The one in the tights on the left there. Really curious gear. The wrestler, but... Uh, I must admit he's uh, showing a lot of speed and agility here. That's one of the fastest men in the business. And dangerous for Danny here, cross press. Oh, he's pulled out all right. Now, of nice posting. Getting for the crutch hold again. Slam. Followed down cross press again by the Frenchman. Thrown off at one. And again. Now, he'll never hold Danny down from that end. Nothing in it weight wise, just a couple of pounds of it, both 11 and a half, roughly. Oh, yes, Teddy. Took, oh, yes, over the top. And the Frenchman has fallen for it. Fall for it, and this is it. And Danny Collins, in 1 minute 15 seconds of round 8, has retained his title. All right, let's have a quick look at that again. That was a beautiful move there by Collins, leading with a back somersault. There he goes. Post his man first. Then he comes off his shoulders, and a back somersault. As this, Louis was going to do a, a mighty climb there. Took, took his man beautifully unawares there, and there's the cross press that finished Thank it. Thank you, ladies nice and move. gentlemen. The champion, the blue corner, Danny Boy Collins. And with that point, oh, so the Frenchman's still not happy about it. But as he gets out of the ring with Danny the winner at two falls to one and retaining his title and belt, it's goodbye from all of us here at St. Albans. We hope you've enjoyed this title fight. Have a good week. Until next week.